What do you see as the greatest, let's say, deficiency or challenge with regard to securing healthcare information today? I think it's, uh, you asked me a very simple question, but it, it's, it has an interesting answer because I'm going to answer it in two different ways. One is going to be on the, what I would call the industry systemic issue side that has a security impact to it. And the other one is, as security practitioners, what we have done to ourselves in the last probably 10 years that is causing some of those issues as well. So the two things, from a systemic perspective, I think complexity of architecture is one of the biggest problems we have. And I say that because the pandemic situation has even brought that to the forefront in the sense of hospitals, health systems are trying to run what I would call legacy applications. And they're trying to reinvent themselves from moving from doing IT the way they did it in late, early 2000s, late 2000s into the 2020 way of doing IT by jumping headfirst into cloud and SaaS applications with the telehealth and the analytics stuff that's going on now. So that's creating a lot of, I would say, interesting conversations when you're talking about security architecture and how it fits into the broader IT architecture conversation. So that complexity is probably technically challenging on how effective security solutions and security programs can be. So that's one. The second thing I would say programmatically is there is understanding of what security does from a risk management perspective, but it's not quite properly aligned with enterprise risk management in hospitals and let alone clinical safety and clinical risk management. So because that interplay is not there in a meaningful way and it's starting to happen in some cases that causes some friction from a what is the role of the security program for this health system to answer that question you need to have that cohes cohesion there that communication there and that's probably i would say the two areas in the industry side that's causing a lot of angst from for what we have to do as security practitioners that's one the other piece on the security side is Data hygiene is a problem. Now, you, you probably have talked, I've heard your other podcasts, you've talked about analytics and the role of data governance and data hygiene. If you've gone through an Epic implementation, for example, you know what it takes to go through the templating process for role-based access for a physician, trying to figure out who does what and at what times in the day. So the ability for us to have a good enough information to feed the security system and the security architecture for it to produce on the other side useful data is a systemic problem on the security side that we're grappling with. They're getting better, but that still exists across the board, across the US. And the last piece I would say on the security side is on the incident response side of things. Security operations in healthcare is very spotty. You have the large health systems on the top end of the chain that do this very well. They have appropriate mature processes, technologies, people that do that. But for the majority of them, this is shared FTEs that are doing security operations in addition to their day jobs as a systems engineer, backup engineer, application analyst, and stuff like that. So that causes some angst in how that interplays with emergency management and continuity operations.